Channel 3 Early Warning Weather. If you're one who suffers from allergies, you perhaps have enjoyed a bit of a break as the levels were quelled slightly after this weekend's rain. Uh, still relatively high, and they're going to go back even higher as we head past Wednesday's rain chance. Uh, so the predominant pollens, birch, maple, and oak trees. So uh, tonight here in the 11 o'clock hour, temperatures are in the 50s statewide. Winds are relatively light and variable, otherwise calm in a few spots, and our sky is primarily clear. 56 looking live from Hartford. The spotty showers and downpours from late afternoon and early this evening have come to an end. Looking live from New Haven, 58 uh, right now in the Elm City. So we could see some patchy fog develop as we head toward daybreak tomorrow. Otherwise, region-wide, things are pretty quiet. Uh, so temperatures tonight will be dropping through the 50s eventually uh, into the 40s, bottoming out in the 45 to 50 degree range, inland upper 40s near 50 along the 95 quarter. Then tomorrow, uh, we rebound to between 70 and 75 inland and mid to upper 60s along the 95 corridor, so cooler along the shoreline thanks to uh, the influence of Long Island Sound. And the sun tomorrow could be a little bit smoky, of course, uh, a bit of a haze out there provided those uh, Canadian wildfires uh, across uh, Alberta working all the way across the North American continent. So for Wednesday, we're going to start the day dry, uh, dry and bright, and then as our Wednesday moves forward in time, we'll start to see cloud cover increase as we head through the course of the afternoon, and that's all as a cold front starts heading into southern New England. It's not going to have a whole lot of moisture to work with, and it will tend to weaken a bit as it heads into southern New England. So you'll notice those yellows, oranges, even some reds, they'll tend to diminish as this line progresses again through Connecticut. So can't rule out an isolated thunderstorm or two. Highest likelihood for that happening would be across the hills of northwest Connecticut. Again, this line tends to fizzle or weaken as it works through the state. And by 10, 11 o'clock on Wednesday evening, done and over, and clearing is getting underway. But behind this front, some cooler air is going to be arriving briefly. By Thursday, highs only in the 60s. So uh, a little bit below average, uh, and then we're going to be trending milder thereafter. So if you're watching Jill this weekend, Scott this morning, Lauren, uh, probably seen, and even Melissa working this weekend, that we saw um, the uncertainty surrounding the, the weekend forecast, uh, speaking to the holiday weekend, of course. Uh, looks like high pressure is going to help to deflect an area of low pressure that was once going to come a little bit farther north and plague us with some on and off rain chances. So latest model trends uh, have been for the wet weather to stay to our southwest and for high pressure to win out. Uh, so we'll trend not only dry, but brighter and as well milder as we head uh, Friday, Saturday, Sunday into Memorial Day Monday. So overnight lows over the coming days in the 40s. We trend through the 50s as we head into the upcoming weekend. Sunday night by Monday morning near 60. Inland temperatures on Friday back in the low 70s, 80 or better by Saturday, mid 80s on Sunday between 80 and, 5, 80 and 85 as we see it now for Memorial Day Monday. Shoreline highs mid and upper 70s, so certainly could uh, be some, some good beach weather. And after Wednesday's chance for rain, that's basically it as of now. So again, things have been evolving in a drier, warmer fashion for the holiday weekend. We hope that trend will continue for all the outdoor activities planned, uh, parades and beach time and whatnot. So we will keep you updated, of course, as this forecast evolves, given we're still several days out, but hopefully it will maintain. All right. Looking good, though, Mark. Thank you very much.